Hi, I'm Dr Jenny Murray-Jones. I'm a lecturer at Deakin University in the Naikiri Institute and I'm an artist. I'm a Yorta Yorta Barappa Rappa woman. Our family were from the Murray River region around Ichuka. Today I'm going to talk about two paintings, well actually three, but two artists. And one of those artists, Yongu woman, uh, Malkan Wirapanda, is um, the woman's work behind me here. Now, Malkan, what, what she has been striving to do is make sure that knowledge of bush tucker is passed on to younger generations. So, not only is she a traditional Yongu painter, but she's also an elder who, who wants to keep culture alive. She's a, a, a leader in, among her people. She has also worked with John Wolseley, um, and she's one amazing woman, really. Now, a lot of her work is about plants, but these particular works here are about mollusks, which are collected nearby in um, Arnhem Land. So, of course, sea, shellfish, plants, are all things that are important to them. Now she works in natural pigments, um, in ochres, which she mixes, she grinds the ochre, and I think I've seen her use some polymer, I think, to, to get it to set. This work here is a collection of, a, of about 30 species. It's also called gapipi, but you can see that there's a variety of different species of fish. The, the work here has the traditional rark um, cross hatching, um, traditional to Mulkins people. And you see that rark work in a lot of bark paintings from that area. This one really took my eye and what I get from this and from this one too is a uh, you know, a great um, elders' knowledge and, and passing on of important things to Yolngu people. Um, of course, artists down here in, in Wadawarong country also collected a lot of traditional foods from the area and, um, you know, we, we pass on the knowledge of those. However, I'm not a, a Wadawarong person, but um, in my country, Yorta Yorta Barappa, Barappa Rappa, we pass on our knowledge of our traditional foods. Um, it's great to see these here in Geelong and I feel they're a great addition to the collection because it's so important that we recognise how Indigenous people see their country. Marcia Langton once said the artists in, the, in, in colonial times walked around with erasers in their pockets and they erased out the, the indigenous people from the landscape. That wasn't always the case, but sometimes it was. What the colonials saw as a wilderness with no people or an empty land, terra nullius, we saw as a, a, a landscape populated by our spirits our creation spirits and our elders, those from the past. And that's how we feel today, that it's not wilderness, it's, it's not empty, but we know their presence is there. And this comes through in this work. Well, this is the other work I wanted to talk about. Now, John Davis has always been a bit of a, a favourite of mine. He also inter interests me because he's a non-Indigenous artist who had been uh, raised around my country along the Murray River or, the, or Dungala as we call it and, and the Mallee area and he was fascinated with the Mallee. He was also fascinated with the landscape in as much as uh, the, the changes in the landscape seasonally. He also Interestingly, he is another one who's, who called the, the bush, uh, you know, um, amazing, this, this, this and this, and then said again that it was empty, a wilderness. 
not how we see it as Indigenous people, but that's okay. He saw it this way, but he also brings to life the landscape through his art. He collects um, twigs and natural objects from the landscape. He uses cotton duck and calico, string, cotton thread, and occasionally bitumen paint. And he creates not only these two-dimensional, well, it's almost sort of two-dimensional two sculptures, but also three-dimensional sculptures like fish. His work really speaks to me of the country. However, not as an Indigenous person, but as a person who is really, really connected to the environment. And he certainly is an environmentalist. He's, that's always been his great interest. Amazing work and I think a very valuable expression of my country, even though it's not an Indigenous work. <laughs>